Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Mathematica's manipulate command to quickly visualize and explore a mathematical equation. So we'll start by plotting a moving Gaussian function. So I'll put in here the Gaussian and let's make this bigger. Okay, so let's put in an equation for a Gaussian and we're going to plot this so I enclose it in the plot command and I'm going to specify x should go from negative 5 to 5 and let's really make this a Gaussian. Okay, so here's a Gaussian. If in the parentheses here I put a negative 1, x minus 1, that shifts the whole Gaussian to the right. Let's see that. And now its mean value is at x equals 1. And of course if I did it by using 2, then the Gaussian uh, shifts over to center its mean at 2. Now, of course, I could continue changing it like this, but there's a nicer way to do it. And that's the manipulate command. So what I'll do is I'll change this x to a variable x0, and then I'll enclose all this in the manipulate command. And I'm going to specify that I want uh, x0. We'll give it an initial value of 0, and we'll give it the label mean, and that it should go from negative 3 to positive 3. Manipulate gives me this nice little window here and so if I click this plus minus button it shows me the actual the value of the mean here. I can control it using the slider and you can see as the slider shifts the mean shifts. Maybe I want to just vary this a little bit. Let's put in a, a second control and a second variable. Let's put in a v for velocity and let's say that this is a traveling wave so it has velocity v, and we're going to show a snapshot of the thing at time t. So I need to put in here another control, and so I can just copy and paste. But the first one I'm going to change to v. We'll call it velocity. And then we will change the second one from, uh, from v to t, and we'll call it time. We want time to go only from 0 to, say, 4. If I run that, now I have a time slider and a velocity slider. And you can see, well, if... I advance time, nothing happens. Why is that? Well, because if you look here, I set the velocity initially to be zero. Now let's change the velocity to one half. And now you can see as I push time forward, the wave moves. Uh, I can increase the velocity and we see the wave move faster. So that's a basic demonstration of the manipulate command. You can use this for all sorts of other plots like two-dimensional plots, three-dimensional plots, almost anything you can imagine. Thanks, and have a great day.